Hey folks, today I've got a huge pile of skeins of yarn that I need to wash, my yarn laundry, so we're going to go through some of that together. First, I've already filled the basin at right with cold water, and now I am running the tap water to see how hot I can get it. Very hot is best. Now I'm going to fill up the sink basin with very hot water and a little bit of soap any mild liquid soap that I would be willing to use on my hands. Just a little bit will do the trick. Here are my before washing skeins. You can see it is kind of kinky and looks a little funky. It doesn't look as even and smooth and tidy. I definitely want to wash the yarn before I knit or crochet with it because if I don't, then I might find surprises when I washed the finished object. It also will often make my yarn easier to work with in that state. I don't always wash my yarn at this same stage of the game. For example, sometimes if I'm going to weave with it, then I may want to wash it and see what transformation occurs in the yarn after I've already woven it into fabric. Uh, but it really depends. So. There are a lot of different options and no one single answer. So what I'm really trying to show you here today is just a basic way to wash most yarns. Now this one had a little bit of dye shedding, just a teeny bit. You can see the wash water changing color just a smidgen. And that's because it's very, very super hot. It probably wouldn't shed if washing it cold, but I would just as soon find that out now so that I don't have a surprise later on down the road. I am being fairly rough in the hot water with this, with my plastic spoon that saves my hands from getting in there in the very hot, painfully hot water. See that wash water changing color? A little bit of shedding dye. Anyway, now that I've done all of this, I know that uh, because this yarn has stood up to the fairly aggressive washing, um, a finished object will stand up to something similar. So I pretty much always wash more aggressively than I would want to treat a finished object made from the yarn so that at least I know what I've got in terms of washability and what the handling options are for me. So yeah, I went straight into the cold water from the hot water. That's right, that just happened. And I am roughing it up. I'm trying to make sure my skein ties are okay. And as noted, <laughs> And this would be a lot easier to do if I could use contrasting color yarn, like regular white yarn, just to tie it. Otherwise, I have to tie this, ooh, you know, dig around, see if I can find the right skein tie, and all that kind of stuff. It can be irritating. So maybe I just got a little bit lazy with the skein. I did. I am. I'm really just wringing this right out. I know, I know, everyone says don't do this with your yarn, but actually it usually works out pretty well. Yarn is tougher than people tend to think that it is. Sometimes I'll go back and do subsequent rinses, more than one rinse, more than one wash, go back and forth between hot and cold. It, it all depends on what kind of what kind of surprises I'm encountering in the wash. But this time I think we're just going to be done. Uh, I'm opening up the loop of the skein. I snap it open and take a look to make sure that everything looks, <clears throat> you know, yarnish. Now we're going outside with all these wet skeins. And I'm just swirling and twirling. And that excess water gets all spun out. Kind of snap the skein open a little bit and just hang it to dry. Ta da! Here's before washing on a merino silk skein. See, still what it looked like before. And then uh, coming up here, you can see wraps per inch before washing. And now after washing. The yarn is really transformed. Don't judge it till you wash it. 